Hi guys, welcome to the lecture on combining queries. So the most SQL queries that we have seen so far contain a single select statement that returns data from one or more tables. SQL also enables us to perform multiple queries and return the result as a single query result set. These combined queries are usually known as unions or compound queries. Um, what I mean by that, I'll show you uh, by an example. Uh, I'll write the select statements first and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So let's select test name, test contact, test email from customers table where cust state in Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. So we have that select statement, which is going to give us all the information about customers from these three states. Let's imagine we have one more um, select statement. Select test name, test contact, customer email from the same table, customers table, where test name equals fun for all I think that's how it's spelled let me just cross check select customers I just want to see if I'm typing it right um, so as you can see yeah, fun for all. I'm just gonna copy that. So imagine we have these two select statements. First one is giving us all the customer information for these three states, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. And we have the second select statement that's gonna give us all the customer information for this specific customer name, fun for all. As I said, customer name is basically the, the company name. Um, so what if I want to get imagine running this query in the console here what do i get okay so we get as i said all the information about the customers from these three states what will i get if i run this query in the console huh, not bad so what if we have to come combine these two queries into one result set what, what how, how can we do that we have these two individual result sets not two separate result sets what what how can we combine these two result sets into one we can do that using an operator called a union so union actually combines multiple select statements into one result set let's see what we get when we run this we gotta save this Oh, I got a, I got a comment out the code from the previous lecture. Yeah, let's save it now and just let's do source file name. Awesome. So as you can see, we used a union and we got a combined result set from those two SQL statements. There are some rules though. We can only combine select statements that have the same kind of columns. So as you can see, uh, in our first select statement, we got three columns, customer name, customer contact, customer email. In our second select statement, we got customer name, customer contact, customer email. So we can only combine queries that have the same kind of columns. Uh, I mean, that makes sense, right? Uh, you cannot combine some random column because it, that, that column needs to exist 
in the results set in order for us to see that um, and there is also one more thing as you can see when we do when we did when we when we ran our first SQL query we got three rows one two three when we ran our second select query we got two rows right uh, but when we ran our union we got only four rows so what's happening there why are we not getting five rows okay so what union does is it actually also eliminates or removes the duplicate rows um, and that's why we only have four rows we don't have five rows um, I mean as you can see we had fun for all Jim Jones in our first SQL query and we had fun for all Jim Jones in our second SQL query when we did a union we only got one and that's what union is it combines multiple select statements into one to give us um, one result set.